Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. After that last part two video, I wanted to go back and revisit the use of the four Tesla coils that I was using to arrest my fall down the wall, where I had it placed every third floor with an HVHF sensor triggering as it went, uh, to see if I could put those four together uh, closer to the bottom here and use them as a fall arrestor at the bottom of the, of the wall. Uh, that was kind of the original question people were asking is can you use one or two at the bottom the answer to that is still no uh, but i did find a different configuration that makes this work even more efficiently with less damage so rather than using the hbhf sensors on the way down to do a minimally timed trigger on the tesla coils i'm going to run them for a little bit longer in this scenario because i put one hbhf at the very top and one hbhf at the very bottom and they're linked to a memory cell so the one at the top turns on the memory cell, the one at the bottom turns it off. So that means these Tesla coils will run for the duration of the entire fall. Now I tested this uh, with one coil and you pretty much are dead when you hit the bottom still. Two, you survive but you have around 20 to 30 health. Three, you survive but you have uh, 50, I think the best I was able to get was about 75. But with four Tesla coils, all spaced one square apart like this, all at one power unit, I was able to survive the fall with only one unit of damage. It's not always consistent. Sometimes it's 97, sometimes it's 98. But usually when I land on the bottom platform, I only have one unit of damage or 99 health left. So uh, I'm sure this will embarrass me doing this live, but I'm gonna try it again see if I can show you what this looks like. So the first HBHF is on the bottom of the platform right below me here. You can hear it if you listen. It's set up on the underside of this platform so that it can't see me while I'm standing up here. But as soon as I jump off the edge, it'll see me go falling past. So you're going to see the Tesla coils activate shortly after I step off the edge here. And then as soon as I hit the bottom platform, they're going to turn off. And if this works like it has in testing, I should only lose about one unit of damage. So here we go. And there you go. So 99 health, one unit of damage, falling 15 stories. You may be able to space these Tesla coils a little bit closer together. I haven't experimented with that. But using the memory cell to turn it on and off so that these stay on and are activated well before you hit them. Uh, you could play around with this if you've got a shorter building you can probably put the HBHF even lower and of course the lower the building the slower you're going so the the less distance you can actually get away with because you're not at your full fall rate yet so the key is to have these on before you hit them and I'm doing that by triggering it at the top of the tower. You'll also see that even though they're running for the entire duration of the fall, they only lose 13 health during that entire fall. So you can do this, uh, what, probably a good uh, 15 or 20, almost 20 times before they would burn out, and you or you'd have to repair them maybe every 15 or 18 falls. That's pretty decent if you're trying to use it as like a fall arrestor for a, a base entrance to only have to come up and repair them every once in a while. For that, you may need to put some like service doors or something along your your fall chute here. Another uh, thing I think I mentioned previously is if you're afraid of your enemies trying to drop down, uh, this is a lot more treacherous. I might be able to demonstrate it. Uh, actually, I'm going to turn off the power because I want you to see what this looks like if your enemy was to try it. The uh, Tesla coils are not going to turn on. However assuming that you're not using open frames like this that these are solid walls the best they'd be able to do is drop down and try to land on the first tesla coil and that'll pretty much kill them 10 floors down yep oh yeah see and maybe you could make it but probably not likely you're probably gonna die trying to fall down that so this should work pretty effectively if you want to have a tunnel that you can fall down it arrests your fall, but enemies fall to their death. And just in case, you could hook up an HBHF at the bottom to a Tesla coil, so if they happen to hit the bottom and still be alive, 
you could have a HVHF set to enemies only and just zap them to finish them off when they hit the bottom. So there you go. Um, entrance protection, trap base, uh, escape route, whatever your solution is for this uh, Tesla coil anti-gravity solution. It can be done with four coils at the bottom. Just make sure you have the trigger to turn them on high enough up that they are running before you hit them. So an HBHF that's either several floors up or maybe use a manual trigger or a remote trigger to turn it on before you start your fall. So there you go. Good luck and don't suck.